this thing. Now, what if someone wants to, they, they really like it and they want to take that extra step? What about citizenship? How does that work, Paraguayan citizenship? Yeah, absolutely. So we'll go through the requirements of Paraguayan citizenship. I think it's uh, comparatively easy compared to other jurisdictions. So there's a few um, requirements you have to meet. The first is uh, you have to live in Paraguay for three years. And during that time, you have to spend a minimum of six months living in Paraguay, uh, six months a year. The second is you have to sort of have a profession or a business. I mean, you can also put yourself as a retiree if that's what you are. So you have, have to have sort of some sort of, um, yeah, a, like official thing that you're doing in Paraguay, you know. So, um, and then the third is that you have to do a Spanish language and a Paraguayan culture test, which uh, you don't have to be 100% fluent, but yeah, you will need sort of a basic level of Spanish. Uh, once you go through those, you then can submit document and then um yeah and then you can start the process to obtain the citizenship right so how many years would you would have had to reside at that point oh apologies sorry it'd be three years three years so three years so six months a year during those yeah. three years understood uh and again just rough comparison that's kind of similar to uruguay so uruguay does allow applications after three years but that's with the family option so that's if you came with your family if you didn't come with your family, you have to wait five years and then you can apply. Is there any okay. distinction like that in Paraguay? No, they they just do it on a case by case basis. I think there is benefits. For example, when you become a citizen, it's easier for you to get visas to bring family members here, but um, not in terms of the actual citizenship process. Right, and uh, in Uruguay. So the, the two is of getting residency in Uruguay. One, there's an investment option like most jurisdictions have. And with the investment mm -hmm. option, the residency requirement is not that strict. Right. But many people would come in on the normal option. You just, I mean, it's really re relatively cheap. But with that, the residency requirements are pretty hefty. It's not just at least 183 days or six months. Mm -hmm. But, you know, they kind of like limit the amount of time you can spend out of the country. There's some wow. 21 days or 30 days or whatever it is but it is it is pretty strict they basically want to see they want you to demonstrate your commitment to living in in uruguay so mm -hmm. relatively speaking i i think it sounds as if paraguay is a bit more flexible uh, and doesn't sound as strict which which is a good thing so if you're a six, seven, or eight-figure investor, entrepreneur, or business owner who needs a tailor-made solution from a qualified team of professionals, we can help you achieve the international lifestyle, the freedom, and even the tax savings you're looking for. Visit us at htj.tax and live that international life.